What's going on, guys? Welcome to June's episode of Plus Club, the show where we play the games offered on PlayStation Plus throughout the month, and at the end of the month, we talk about it. My name's Seth, and joining me today, of course, is Chevy. Chevy, we just did Game of the Month, where we talked about Remnant 2. Hopefully, um, you're doing good since then. Hopefully, people get a chance to go watch that. It was a really good conversation of us just basically gushing about that game, but uh, <laughs> there's definitely some nuance there, if you are also a fan sure. or looking into it. Um, how you doing since then, though? And uh, are you excited to talk about Streets of Rage 4? SpongeBob, The Cosmic Shake, and AEW Fight Forever, the games we played in June. Doing good. Uh, I was up probably a little too late playing Final Fantasy XIV. Dawn, Bra- or Dawn Trail just came out. And uh, I am level 95 now. So What's the cap? 100. Okay. Uh, two members in the free company hit 100. So they're max C- level. Congrats, you degenerate, no life uh, <laughs> sweaties. Uh, Say that with love. Yeah, so far without getting too into it, and I'll save it for plus or not plus cut, but uh, taste cast as well. But um, the beginning of the story is not hooking me, so I'm hoping there's a point where I start caring a little more about the story than I do right now. But I'm very early, so I will um, hold any hard opinions. The only reason my level is so high is because I'm a crackhead and I can't not do the side content. So, um, that and the Elder Ring co-op mod for the DLC finally released. So pretty excited to get back into that as well. So. And that is our game of the month. In case you guys missed um, game of the month, it was revealed that um, Chevy picked Elden Ring. So we will be playing it this month and reviewing it at the end of the month. Hopefully putting some emphasis on Shadow of the Earth Tree because that is the new thing. So, yeah. Yeah. Anything else? Nope. Yourself? Uh, I'm good. I woke up like 49 minutes ago. So <laughs> that's why I'm looking a little uh, and sounding a little rough, but uh, we'll get through it. We got to talk about these games, but yeah, I'm excited to talk about these games. I'm also excited to talk about the games that are coming out uh, next month in July, which are Borderlands 3, NHL 24, and Among Us. Um, I thought this month was a pretty basic, but next month seems pretty basic as well. Um, what do you think about these games? Um. NHL will probably be pretty easy unless uh, it somehow surprises me, which I'm welcoming if it does. Um, yeah, neither of us have really played a hockey game in a long, 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 long time. So it'll be really interesting to see where the genre is at, basically, which is what I said about FIFA, now FC, or wherever the hell it's mm-hmm. called, and like all the other games. We've played those now, haven't played an NFL or NHL games. So. Yeah. Uh, Among Us is, it's been a long time since I played it. I know they've added a bunch of stuff, so I'm, I'm kind of curious to see where that game's at right now. I'm really curious, because that game was like obviously super fucking popular when it came out for like a whole year, and then it just kind of disappeared, but I, I always see it's getting new stuff, so yeah. In a lot of the streaming circles I watch too, they still do like massive events in that, in that game and stuff, so they'll, they'll hold like, you know eight nine people streams where they can it's just a good game for that kind of stuff so yeah i don't think it'll die because of that um my phone hates typing borderlands and i then, tried to type twice it's like borderland borderlanda um i skipped borderlands 3 because oh yeah i uh i don't have a lot of faith in this this series anymore <coughs> well and, you skipped it because they released it on epic for, at first and it, yeah they released it on epic that was my initial and then like <clears throat> i kept hearing from people that um the gameplay was fine but the story was meh oh it's yeah it's really bad and i was just like yeah i've already played borderlands 2 i think i'm all right so. that's a bit of a spoiler but i'm talking about the story the story is not good yeah and i haven't played it so i have zero opinion yeah so. yeah this would be nice because i've talked about it uh, quite a bit through you know whenever the hell it came out on taste cast stuff like that because i was playing it um but you haven't played it so mm-hmm. you'll get to finally experience this game so yelp uh who knows maybe i'll like it but i yeah. uh for i i played so much borderlands 2 that the fatigue lasted a long Same. time <clears throat> yep so i even felt it going into um everything they had released up until borderlands 3 and into Borderlands 3, I started playing because I was like, oh, it's a new Borderlands. And I still kind of felt like, man, I, Borderlands 2 really, because it was so good, really just stuck with me. Like, I was yeah. like, I've played this. Yeah. <laughs> so. It's a little rough. And obviously, you know, some people, you know, just want more and more Borderlands regardless. And that's that's great for, yeah. for those people. But 
who yeah i was i was a little tired of it um and then also like connecting to our last game of the month um i just that's more my speed these days when it comes to that kind of game so yeah i don't know anyways that's my thoughts really on those three so. yeah i'm excited to see uh nhl i haven't played a game like this in a long time so like i said before it'd be interesting to find out where it's at hopefully it's a fun game to play because i remember old um hockey games being fun um i'm wondering if you'll be able to punch people because if you can i'm gonna knock the fuck out of people <laughs> um even if it gets me in trouble because even in um the basketball game we played recently mm -hmm. i was just like constantly harassing people and getting in trouble so i mean i was tripping um, people in the soccer game so yeah, so uh, watch out. I'll be doing that. And then uh, Among Us, definitely curious to see where it's at now. I've already played it. I uh, already, you know, I could probably already do a review of it right now if I needed to. But um, I'm curious to see where it's come and how it plays on controller because I haven't played it on a controller. I've only played it on um, on PC. So um, I think I think that's where I played it. It was a long time ago. And then uh, Borderlands Three. I have played this game. I have beat this game. I have a lot of opinions on it. I will be basically revisiting it on console to see if my opinions are still the same mm. and how it plays on controller, basically. Um, I don't think my opinions will change at all, but we'll see. I'm open to it. And uh, I don't know if it's going to come with any of the DLCs or anything that came out with it, but I stopped playing before they started supporting it because I just cruise through the game beat the game and then they start adding stuff and i was like ah i'm good so um we'll see um uh, but yeah excited to uh play the games in july i almost said do the games in july and um it's gonna be an easy month so that's good because i appreciate about this month and uh yeah we'll talk about that in a sec uh you have anything else nope let us know in the comments what you guys think about borderlands 3 nhl 24 and among us are excited or not excited and uh yeah let us know everything you think about in the comments below uh all right so let's talk about um streets of rage 4 spongebob the cosmic shake and aew fight forever i think we should probably start with aew fight forever if you didn't get a chance to play it it's a wrestling game it is a wrestling game it's not wwe it's aew now i'm not when i was younger i was into wwe back when it was wwf um and I've fallen out of it. So I don't follow and know really what AEW is. So if I'm talking about AEW and I'm like missing something, completely ignorant. But and it seems to have a lot of wrestlers that were in WWE and WCW, WCW and um, all the all the other ones. I don't know if this is like some weird alternative where they weren't getting paid enough here, so they went there. I don't know. You can fill me in if you're a wrestling guy. Um, but yeah, AEW Fight Forever, it is basically like a lot of other wrestling games I've played in the past where you um, can either do like free for all, or not free for all, but just like you can play matches if you want, like randomly. You can do like, um, I forgot what all the things are, but like cage matches, uh, 1v1, 2v2. There is a career mode um, that you can play through. That it seems you pick a dude, um, you go day by day, you you feed them food, you make them go out and like sightsee and eat uh, random meals like avocado toast and work out, and you balance different uh, stats on them before their matches. And then you do the match, and there's like a whole story that plays out. Um, is, oh, there's an online mode you can play against people. I did not touch that. Um, there seemed to have been customization that I did not really get into a whole lot. Was there like custom characters? I didn't even see that. Where was that at? Uh, I don't remember where it was. It was the first thing I did. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't do that at all. I went straight to the career mode and I picked one of the wrestlers that already existed. He looked like a giant baby okay. and uh, he's like a red haired baby. And, uh, I played through with that guy, but when I went to do something to him, it's like, oh, you can't um, do this to pre-made characters. I was like, oh, fuck, where the, was the custom character? I didn't even see it. So um, that's, on, that's on me. That's my bad. Um, and yeah, you just wrestle. You fight forever in this game. <laughs> um, we both played it. And uh, uh, what'd you think about it, Shoei? I mean, I'm not really going to have very deep opinions about this game. It's pretty cut and dry. You did but, a whole thing I didn't do, um, though. So. But I did spend a lot of time making a character. 
uh, which I very aptly named Little Stank. Okay. <laughs> that seems fitting for this. Yeah. Um, I'm fucking, I'm like legit annoyed that I didn't make a character. Yeah. I didn't even see it. It's um, good in some parts and like pretty bare minimum in other parts. I felt like the, the templates were pretty bare minimum, but it had a, a pretty decent amount of like equipment you could put on. Um, I do okay. feel like for a wrestling game and it's been a while since I played one. So who knows if I, if I even know what I'm talking about, but I feel like you really, really, really should have like crazy customization because there's not a lot more, um, you're going to do in the game other than just the wrestling part of it. I do appreciate that you could do your, you know, your entrance and like change what's on the screen in the background, the music playing, the pose when they come out, all that stuff. Like that's, that's all, um, expected, but also like I enjoy doing it. Like, you know, as a lot of you to the game in that point. Um, I did think, uh, kind of just going back a little bit though, that, uh, I wish I would have just had more options in my characters, like actual physical appearance though, because that was very lacking. I feel it was like, if I'm not mistaken, it was like <clears throat> six choices and like what kind of face you have and not, stuff like that. That's not surprising with a, I mean, like I'm really annoyed that I didn't get to look at this, but um, the whole game feels bare bones. So if it was lacking, I can only speculate because I didn't see it. Um, kind of makes sense because the rest of the game was also just like, here, get into a fight or here's a career mode. Other than that, there's nothing much else going on. I think I had some mini games you could play too, though. Yeah, I didn't delve into too many of the game modes. I just did 1v1 and 2v2. But, yeah. um, uh, and I'm not necessarily saying this is a knock towards as much as something I would like to see improved upon if they, they make more of these. Um, but yeah, customization is kind of like the big thing I'm looking for at least. And maybe I'm not the core audience. So like, who cares what I have to say, but, uh, yeah, I just want to be able to make like a character super customizable. It had a really good, like you, where you can like make your move roster and stuff like that. You could pick, you know, X amount of finisher moves, X amount of like, uh, signature moves, but and you could literally go through and just like really load out like the play style of the character, which I think was cool. Uh, but then like getting to the actual like gameplay part of it, I mean it was pretty standard fare. Um, my my big complaint, which was like driving me nuts a lot of times, is it's like, I don't know if sticky is the right word or floaty or whatever, but like oh, when, there's some sticky dudes when, in this when game. People would go to do stuff to each other. Sometimes you'd be like locked in like this facing each other type thing and uh, just kind of like move like this with each other and they'd reach and not actually touch each other and nothing would happen. Or if like the ref would get there, all of a sudden they were just like an impenetrable wall. AI was super stupid when it came to that kind of stuff. I'm really glad you're bringing that up. Um, And yeah, there's just so many times where like people's bodies just got like pushed or slid out of the way or something. It just made the actual wrestling feel kind of bad. Because there was a lot of times I got screwed out of moves, or even the the bot got screwed out of moves, um, because object um, collision or whatever was like terrible in that game, or just way too good. Pick your pick your version of that, I guess. But uh, I feel like that needs to be improved big time. Um, other than that, though, like it was pretty much exactly what I expected it to be. Uh, I don't feel like this genre has, at least in this game series, I should say, has like really changed a whole lot. So. Um, dude, the, the wrestling games, me and Josh used to play back on the Xbox 360 had more going on than this game. Yeah. Had more modes, more things to do, more customization. I'm sure the wrestling games, the WWE and they got the budget. I'm sure. I'm sure the games they're making now are like way more robust than this. Yeah. Be curious to, to see them in comparison. Um, the customization has to be better. Cause I still see pictures of people posting ridiculous shit. They're making in wrestling games. Is this. Is it, do we know if this is the first game they've made for this? I have no Brandon, idea. I'm, I'm curious because it's like this is like if this is a starting point, then I think it's a pretty decent little starting point. Sure, yeah. Um, Without knowing if this is their first attempt, yeah. then yeah, it's not. It's not that bad. But uh, it is a little janky. So. It does. <laughs> I'm gonna jump in a little bit here. Uh, it oh, does. Take it, if you want. it does feel to me like a a port to console from like a free to play mobile phone game almost. Mm. 
Uh, the game doesn't look that great. It doesn't look horrible, but it looks a little cheap, especially when you're playing the career mode and it shows the fucking little plane flying across the map. And I know you're probably thinking, like, it's just a map. Like, it doesn't need to look good. It looks really cheap. Like, it looks like a really shitty uh, United States and it shows this really plasticky looking plane just, like, it doesn't even look like it's flying. There's no trajectory. This is such a weird nitpick. But it just kind of goes whoo, over here, and it looks like these threw it together. Now, the reason I'm bringing that up is because the whole game kind of feels like a lot of it was kind of thrown together, specifically the fucking AI. Um, when I played the game, um, I played, what is it called, King, King of the Ring? What's what are, what's the match? I'm so ignorant when it comes to wrestling now. Same. Where people keep coming in, and you have to keep throwing people out. There could be a max of four, but then you throw think, someone out. I think it's and there's like 20 people and eventually i'm just suffering through 19 people until the fresh 20 comes in and goes fucking nuts on me i still beat his ass though um <laughs> but he just came and beat the shit out of me for like fucking five minutes straight um but anyway i played that and it's a really good showcase of how bad the ai in this game is because you'll run a guy will run in you start fighting him you're beating his ass and when you're beating his ass a little too much all of a sudden the two dudes fighting behind you one of the guys just goes and just looks at you and then he starts walking at you and then the other guy you watch his body just turn and look at the guy he knocked on the ground and now they're locked together and the guy is uh who's fresh he's been me the other guy's ass yeah. he comes after you now and i saw that a couple times i was like is this always gonna happen and it did it kept happening every time i like beat the fuck out of some dude someone else was like all right that's enough and like started fighting me and i'm like it's it's too robotic man it feels so yeah. like stupid to be able to expect that um and then even in like a 1v1 a 2v2 uh match the ai was not smart and it doesn't have to be like the most revolutionary thing ever but it is very simple um i would throw a dude out of the ring and i used to do this back on like the 64 days with wrestling i throw a guy out of the ring it has to count down to like 10 i believe and then they're ringed out um i don't know what the fuck it's called but i would just go out there and just beat his ass and he'd just be like laying there and he'd stand up and he'd beat his ass and he'd get to about seven or eight and I'd run into the fucking ring and like they would like get hung up on shit and not know how to get back into the ring. I was like, this isn't, this uh, this could be better. Yeah, big one I kept running into is um, when my tag partner would throw them into the corner of the ring and then both of us would try to like, you know, do, because you can do duo attacks in the game, but yeah. our shoulders would collide and then we couldn't reach the person in the corner I was like, that's just a wrestler why, problem dude? they're just really big dudes you should see them try to walk or through girls. doorways um yeah so anyway i i just played a couple matches 1v1 v2v2 2v2, and then i played the career mode i put more time into that than anything just because yeah, it was a little more a little more interesting because there was like it's very simple but for me, a person who's not super into wrestling, I kind of was okay with it being simple because I didn't need it to be overcomplicated. Like when we played the basketball game recently and I did the career thing, it was mm. like, invest in this company. I'm like, right. I don't, I don't want to fucking do this. <laughs> but in this, it's like you get into a fight. There's a stupid story where you guys are like, oh, man, that was a tough match. I need to go do some things. And it's like, you want to go sightseeing? Go do a fan meetup? Do you want to do food? Do you want to work out? And everything you do has pluses and minuses. So, like, your energy level goes up and down depending on what you do. Um, your mental fatigue, I think, is, is show like a head. Um, goes up and down. Um, you can gain, like, uh, by working out, I think you just get stronger for the next match. But then it lowers your fatigue, stuff like that. So, you have to make these decisions. Very simple. The conversations are really stupid, too. Like, I went sightseeing and Sting was there. And my dude's just like... Like, what are you doing here? You're you're a guy of the shadows. Like, why would you be out in the open? And it's things like, oh, you might not know this, but I was born in Venice Beach. And he's like, oh, that's that's amazing. Um, and then also, you know, I went eight, and my guy's like, okay, I this is just toast with avocado on it. Then, and the girl's like, yeah, it's avocado toast. So, hmm, and they eats it, and then it gave me points. I was like, who's writing this dialogue? Um, <laughs> An AI. Yeah. So then uh, you do the fights. I did the fights. Um, a lot of them, I mean, you should be doing a lot of the moves because you do more damage, I guess. But a lot of them, you just punch the shit out of people. I was just punching people. Like, one match, I just wanted to test it. I just only punched him. I ended up winning. So I was like, okay. They, they could add some diversity in the, the AI as well of, you know, how, uh, how to react to this. The game is super stiff, super robotic feeling. Um, like you said, if it is a first attempt... And make an AEW game, which I don't think it is, but if it is, uh, I could definitely look past a lot of that. But 
Um, I think I think the AEW people deserve better if they're if they're out there playing this game. Um, had a decent roster, a lot of different characters. Very fascinating for me to look through because some of them I recognize, like yeah. Sting and uh, one of the Hardy brothers, yeah, yeah, yeah. and like um, you know, all these people that I'm like, did your contracts? not work out with other, with other companies right here um unless maybe they all join together and made AEW. i, I really kind of want to look into it um but then all these other people i'm like man this reminds me of like the the late 80s early 90s of like wwf where like people are just wearing speedos and cowboy hats and have like stupid names like that was their personas like some really basic stuff that was kind of interesting um so yeah uh overall though you know, I I didn't even touch the custom character maker, which I'm really annoyed by because that was that's what I was like you gonna go do and talk about, but apparently I just didn't see it. I thought it was kind of weird too at first when I was playing the game. I was like, you can't make your own character in this. Like that's fucking wild. But I just fucking missed it somehow. Um, but yeah, outside of that, uh, game was fine. Definitely felt like a free to play game in a lot of ways. Very bare bones and minimal, but um, serviceable, especially if you're like a fan of AEW. I think you know this is your only option, so at least it's not the worst thing ever. Mm. It's just not the best either. So it was, it was, it was fun. You got anything else? I don't think so. Show into recommendations. I would recommend this to people who have already. Well, first off, if you're a fan of AEW, probably you want to play this. It's not. Probably. It's not terrible. It's just definitely gonna bump it up a little for you. I think. The AI, if I have any real criticism of the game, I think the AI needs work. That's about it. The rest of it's bare bones, but that can get better as they make more games. Sure. So that's fine. But the AI was like the only thing I was like, this is not good. This is pretty bad. So hopefully they can work on that. Um, if you've played all the wrestling games and you need more wrestling games and you haven't played this one, I'd recommend it to you. I'd also loosely recommend it to anybody who likes fighting games because wrestling games are fighting games, just a different breed of them. And in a world where um, basically uh 2d fighting games are dominating right now and 3d i mean i just did a tiktok recently on how soul caliber is dead right now like it's literally dead which is devastating Tekken's good, but. um but uh well yeah Tekken's doing fine but uh soul caliber is dead so there's not a whole lot of options out there for that kind of fighting game anymore and uh you know if you're looking for something that's not just you know street fighter guilty gear great games but if you want something else wrestling games are one of your only options and they're they're always like you know pretty fun running around throwing people off ropes it's a whole different dynamic so i'd recommend to you um and i guess if you like customizing characters i i didn't i didn't see it so i just have to take his word for it um i'd recommend to you i don't think i really have anything to add it's a wrestling game so it's pretty cut and dry um uh, if you enjoy because i did a couple rounds this way too if you enjoy like setting up uh, bot versus bot matches and like you know watching those play out as well you can do that in this game so yeah all right uh jump into grades sure uh you went first so i grade it i'm gonna give this a light c plus um it has room for improvement i did admittedly skip the character customization but from what i hear it doesn't sound too robust but it's there so that's it's good yeah. it's so it's good like that's even there um but it's, it's fine, but I think you should probably play a different wrestling game at this point until they can get these better. But, um, yeah, it's a little overpassable. It was, it was fine. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm feeling C. Okay. Um, I don't think it's a bad game. I just don't think it's a good game. <laughs> so it's it's fine. Um, I think if I was into wrestling or if it's into specifically this branch of wrestling, uh, I would probably have a higher opinion of the game um just out of you know fandom I'm, i mean i'm that way with a lot of like rpgs i'll play some pretty mediocre jrpgs and and be okay with it versus like some people are just like i just couldn't not get through that you know type thing so uh that makes a huge difference for sure but for me i'm not a fan of, of wrestling anymore um hell it was like 30 years ago at this point probably um it's fine it needs work though Whoa, you can say 30 years ago. Yep. I was like, 30 years ago? I was like, wait, no, you you were around. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, anything else? That's it. All right, so C and a, a light C+. Plus. I got a light one because I'm trying to be encouraging. Make more games, make them better. Sure. Take the feedback. Um, 
Let us know in the comments what you guys think about AEW Fight Forever. Here's my big question to you. First off, did you play? Did you not play? If you didn't play, why didn't you play? But if you did play, what did you like about it? But here's my big question. Are you a wrestling fight or play game player? And which one's the best one right now? And how does AEW fare compared to those? And is this the first AEW game? I highly doubt that. Um, and is there a better one? Let me know in the comments below everything you're thinking about when it comes to AEW Fight Forever. I'm so ignorant. I just I want to know more about it. Um, next game we played in June was SpongeBob the Cosmic Shake, which is uh, it's a platformer. It's a SpongeBob platformer. Something happened with the Cosmic stuff. It's like Cosmic Shake thing. I did not pay attention to the storyline. Uh, you know, do you remember at all? <laughs> What happened in the story? I can't remember if they were a mermaid or a witch or whatever, oh, but yeah. they basically um, gooped everything up, and you're trying to reverse it by jumping into portals and yep. playing other dimensions and stuff. I don't yeah. know. It's, it's very cartoon story. So Yeah, it's a, it's a SpongeBob game. It's a platformer. It's definitely similar to the uh, SpongeBob platformer we played in the past. Um, you run around different... I mean, it's basically remnant too. You go to different realms and you do really cool stuff. You have a small little Patrick that floats next to you. Uh, you True. use underwear as health. Um, yeah. You do a spin attack to attack. You have a bubble you can shoot at people. Um, a double jump, I think. You can glide. Um, I just unlocked. Oh no! What was it? Oh, a kick. You like it's like Sonic, where you like lock onto people and you hit a button, you fly and hit them. Um, and yeah, you go to different locations. I forgot the first one. Do you remember the first location? Like outside of the the yeah, the first bottom? like realm. It's a cowboy area. A cowboy area. Yeah, I remember like the saloons, and then there's like a Hollywood place that I went to, and then I forgot the next one I went to. I only played like twenty percent of the game. Played through more than me. Yeah, uh, well, I kind of expected that, but because uh, we'll talk about it. Yeah. But anyway, it's it's a platformer. You jump on things, you run around. There's a lot of different scenarios, uh, like a uh, running from left to right while the back of the screen follows you. If you don't keep up, you die. So mm -hmm. you know, keep it keeps things fresh. You ride a seahorse at one point and through an area, and then later you can just reuse them. Um, we both played it. I'll jump into my impressions first. So um, this game is made for children. Which is fine. Um, it's actually a pretty decent platformer. Uh, feels a little cheap sometimes, but I was actually impressed with how tight the platforming was. There was a lot of like parts of this game where you have to jump on these little things everywhere to get across to like secret places, and I was surprised. I'm like, I don't know if the game was assisting me or if I, it's it's just that tight. But I was like pinpoint accurately jumping on all these platforms very easily. So a lot of like air control, a lot of like. It, it was surprising. I was like, wow, the platforming in this game is pretty good. Um, I didn't, as evident by earlier, me forgetting the story, didn't pay attention to the story a whole lot. Um, I kind of skipped through a lot of it because I was like, I'm not going to care about this. Um, it's SpongeBob. It's ridiculous, whatever. Um, I don't like or dislike SpongeBob. I don't care about SpongeBob. Um, but... Um, the whole going to different locations I think is always a fun trope in games because it gives you a way to have variety without, you know, um, having to explain too much, like a, a whole world where like, oh, this is a different place, this is a different place. It's just hop in a portal, here's a new place, hop in a portal, here's a new place. So um, I appreciate the variety in that regard. Um, a lot of things to collect, which I don't know if you spend those later, if that's just points, but... Um, I was collecting a lot of stuff, and I was like, I'm not doing anything with this, so I'm just going to stop collecting everything I find. But it's it's really good, because like, if you're a kid, you're going to fucking love how much shit you can collect in this game. A lot of like secret areas that are really easy to get to. Like I said, I think this game is designed for kids, which it should be, but anyone can play it. And like I said, the platforming was good. Um, combat could be better. It feels kind of floaty. Um, luckily, it's a spin attack that keeps going, so you have room for error, again, made for kids. Mm -hmm. uh, you can attack before the dude gets to you, and by the time he gets close to you, you're still attacking, so you hit them, um, which was great for me, because you know I, I have to play this for the channel, so I'm just like, I don't need a big challenge. I'm just going to run through and hit shit and get as far as I can. Um, the locations not only were varied, which was uh, you know interesting, good like palate cleanser, um, but the scenarios were different in each zone too, which I appreciated. There's a good variety in like, um, 
things to do, especially the Hollywood one. Um, there's some fun scenarios there um, that were different than the Holly or the the Wild West area. Um, I forgot what the next one is. I can't remember. Um, so yeah, uh, you run through, you hit stuff. It's decent. Um, enemies get kind of repetitive, but again, I was just kind of running through this, hitting everything that moved, so I wasn't really. Um, too engaged with you know the combat elements bosses they fight are very simple it's like they got three hits and then they're done so very sonic era you know boss battles a lot of them are just like wait for them to do an attack and then they get stuck hit them wait for them to do attack they get stuck hit them there's one enemy that you run to regularly they're kind of annoying because every time you hit them they sh send out a shock wave that stuns you but then the enemies can hit you um that always felt cheap i tried to jump out of that and a lot of times I still get hit in the air too so I'm like is there something I'm missing here um so that was kind of annoying um I did like also that it was introducing moves as you kept playing so the the gameplay was changing slowly so like I said the the lock on air kick which felt super fucking cheap once I unlocked that I was like am I god now you just gave me this 20% into the game um but it's nice because I, I wasn't expecting it it's like here's the air kick thing and I'm just like Okay, I've, I wasn't expecting to have new moves, but here we go. Um, which kind of opened up some new areas because there's things you can lock on to to fly over to. And, you know, it's, it's cool. Um, I don't really think I can fluff talk more this game. It was fine. It was a decent platformer. Like I said, it's specifically aimed for kids. This is like a kid's game for sure. I don't mean that negatively. Um, I still had some fun with it. I don't think I'll beat it. I don't think I'll continue to play it after this, but it, there's way worse ways to spend your time than playing this very simple platformer. But yeah, not the best in the world, not the worst. So yeah, thoughts? I'm gonna be honest with you, it's gonna be hard for me to say anything much different from what you just said. Um, I do think, you know, the emphasis on it being designed for a younger audience is 100% true. Um, as things worth noting that I hate platformers uh, and I also am a little too old for Spongebob like in regards of when it came I didn't grow up with it so um, I was just just too old for it um, yeah I was just too old for it I mean I watched a little bit when it first came out but mm -hmm. I was like old, too old for it at the time but yeah. it's such a cultural phenomenon it was hard for me not to have watched it yes and I didn't watch it at all so and then like Sarah, she fucking hates SpongeBob. So it's funny how people my age and maybe a little younger, maybe a little older, all have their varied opinions of it. Because I know a lot of people who love SpongeBob still. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, so there's not a lot here for me to like grab onto. So I was just kind of like playing it, obviously out of obligation. And like you said, I'm glad um, the game was easy to play because um, I'm playing it because I have to. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's the worst because I'm going to bring up the basketball game again. Like, um, uh, and some of it was fine. Obviously, go watch that review if you want to hear about that. But, um, like that career mode, I'm playing this game because I want to play these games for the show, but it is an obligation that we hold ourselves to yeah. every month. And so I started playing that mode, and I was like, I don't want to do this. Like, I <laughs> will do it if it's the only thing I can do in this game, but this is not interesting to me. So, right. um, yeah, with a game like this, I'm like, oh yeah, I can do this. This is cool. Yeah, I mean, I was, I mean, just to kind of reiterate, I guess, like you know, in my even within my own impressions, of the game um, is super simple to play. Um, the story was simple and easy to follow. Um, not for me, dude. I fucking forgot about it. Well, if you're not paying attention, there's yeah. not a lot you can do about that. I was that, skipping so. um, a lot of the inner dialogue. Yeah, you know, mechanically, it, it's easy to pick up and forgiving in your attacks like you said when you spin like you have correction time um platforming was super simple though there is a lot of it um which i'm sure is very engaging for younger audiences and then um you know the the once you leave bikini bottom and you're you're in the like the cowboy area for example and you have these characters who uh don't remember you know being in bikini bottom and they are this version of themselves like uh you know, Mr. Crab is basically still trying to make money, but now he's doing it by making you go get cactus juice instead. Uh, is uh, an interesting twist to you know to to their characters while also kind of keeping their their character types um, in line. So, but um, 
other than that, I pretty much agree with everything you said. Like, it's just, it's fine. Like it platforms, it, it, uh, has plenty of like fan service if, you know, for the, for the type of audience it's going for and it's approachable by anybody. So, yeah. Yeah. Anyone can play this. And with that, jumping to recommendations, mm-hmm. uh, I would, hi- I, not highly, I would, I would, uh, slightly recommend it to everybody if you're just looking for a simple platformer. Yeah. But I would mostly recommend it to people, first off, if you're a fan of SpongeBob. Um, but if you're, if you're looking for a low effort platformer, so whether you got kids, you want the, the, you know, them to have something to play, or if you're just looking for something that you don't have to really think about, or maybe something to play while your kid's around or something like that, I don't know. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for like a platformer that's not super challenging, I'd recommend it to you. Um, if you're into, uh, I don't know, maybe beat something that's like highly superior, like uh, Ratchet and Clank, and you're just looking for another platformer, this is one that's slightly competent. It's not as good, but you know, it's not bad. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not a bad alternative, uh, to other platformers as long as you've played all the better ones. Um, if like collecting all the stuff, if you like just finding everything, uh, anything else? I mean, it's, it's a SpongeBob platformer. So it, that doesn't sound interesting to you. It's very basic. Yeah. 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 It's very straightforward. If you're not into SpongeBob or platformers, I'm not going to recommend it to Thanks you. So. Chevy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, I will never play this again, but yeah. um, I don't regret playing it. Yeah. Every once in a while, it's like nice to just play a, a really simple platformer. So, yeah. Uh, well, would you grade it? Um, I mean, the game's fine, honestly. I like, I have no actual complaints about it. I just, it's just so not interesting for me. So um, I'm just going to give it a pretty solid B, I think. It plays fine. It does the things it needs to do. And I can imagine if you were younger, um, it probably tickles the brain just enough to keep you wanting to play it. So It's probably great for younger people with like not as good of reflex time and just like... Mm-hmm. Because it functions, it's, and it's not super hard. So, there's tons know. of collectibles and things to break, and it's a lot not, of little mini games and stuff. So. It's not going to frustrate you. It kind of reminds me of back in the day when like Spyro came out. I know a lot of people our age love Spyro now, yeah. but we were younger when Spyro came out, and Spyro wasn't like a super challenging platformer. It was just like a fun platformer. Kind of felt like that. Kind of gave me some nostalgia like that. Mm-hmm. So you gave it a B. Yes, I'm going to give it a B minus. I was going to give it a C plus, but. I don't think it's just passing. I think it's like fine for who it's made for. For sure. Um, from my perspective, it's like a C plus. But I think uh, it's probably a good game to give to like kids or younger people or you know maybe someone who just doesn't want any kind of challenge at all um, because it is a functioning decent platform where the combat is easy, but it's not like boring. It's just really easy. Um, unless you look for a challenge, if you look for Dark Souls, this game's not for you. Um, <laughs> no. But uh, but yeah, it's it's fine. It's, it, yeah, it's a. I, I'd give it a B minus. It was okay. Yeah, just not for me. I'm yeah. too old for it. I'm too. I'm too skilled for it. Um, anything else? Nope. All right. Let us know in the comments what did you guys think of SpongeBob the Cosmic Shake. Did you like? Did you not like it? Did you play? Did you not play it? And uh, if you played it, what were some of your favorite parts? Uh, do you agree about this is probably meant for younger people or? somebody who's just looking for something maybe low effort Casual. yeah because uh, if you liked it if you really love this game no judgment you oh know. for sure yeah play whatever the hell you want man. yeah um game's fun and uh yeah what's your favorite spongebob game i know the one we played on playstation plus before the remaster uh, a lot of people love that game yeah. so i wonder how this compares to that for a lot of people and let's know everything you think about in the comments below uh last game we played this month was Streets of Rage 4. If you get a chance to play Streets of Rage 4, it's the fourth of the Streets of Rage games that we all played back on Sega Genesis. Um, in it, you play as uh, one of four people. I think you unlock more people as you play the game, though, and it's mm-hmm. a basic brawler. It's a side-scrolling brawler. Uh, you walk from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen. Enemies come out. You punch the shit out of them. You throw them. You fucking suplex them. You have specials you can use, I think, at the cost of your health, right? It looked like Stars. when you... Was it stars? You pick up stars and you let you. What was the super- green part of the health bar? Because I was noticing when you were spamming certain moves, your health was going down, and it looked like it was trying to refill it. 
but if oh, you I get wasn't hit, paying you that much it. attention apparently to that. But I know the supers take stars. So well, the supers, yeah. But there's a there's when you hit triangle, you do a special move, and I think yeah. it was using. I think it was basically giving you gray health that had to refill, hmm. but you could lose it. Yeah, um, I didn't pay attention to that apparently. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments. This this month apparently we weren't paying as much attention as we should have. <laughs> I think we uh, looked at three. Um, seemingly simple games and just went, oh, they're simple. Off. Then we just, yeah, <laughs> then we just fucking forgot about certain parts. Um, but yeah, uh, it's it's Streets of Rage. I mean, like, if you haven't played those games, play this, I guess, because it's basically the exact same as those games. Yeah. It just looks different. Uh, this game features a more cartoony look to it. The older games had a, like, pixel look to them, very of their time. This has a, like, flash cartoon like i don't know if flash cartoons are still a thing or not but the flash is dead yeah <laughs> but every time i like it's like this it reminds me of like back in the day when people make like flash You're just cartoons. Aging yourself it's fine yeah exactly yeah <laughs> i i feel like a boomer when i talk about flash cartoons um just like it's got like a very digital uh, art animation look to it um and yeah you just exact justice on the streets of rage um who went first last time i did yes so yeah what were your thoughts of streets of rage 4 uh, well, uh, like you said, this is a beat 'em up or a brawler, uh, whatever term you want to use. Uh, a fuck 'em up. It is, I think, four player. No. Is it only two? I think it's only two. It could be. Maybe oh, it's four. But when weird. I started the game and I hosted it, it only had one spot. Oh, maybe it is only two player. I was and the old games the old, were. Well, yeah, and like the old Turtles game was four player. And I no, think no, no, no. The old Streets of Rage was two player. Oh, was it two? Okay, yeah, so I'm just Genesis. thinking of Turtles then, huh? interesting yeah. um or like i know like river city girls came out i think i don't know if that's two or four as well but anyway well the old ones you'd have to buy like an extender like for controllers like for that's like true. four player that's true so two players normally the standard yeah this could be four player but when i hosted there's only well, one, one spot I, and i i believe that you if it is two because like i obviously i didn't host i wasn't really looking yeah. into it so uh well anyway so two player game um the the game plays uh, mostly fine. I have some gripes, uh, but for the most part, it plays exactly how I expected it to. Uh, I think the art style is fitting. It like fits just fine, um, especially like the way they do the little. Like, it's four player. Is it okay? Yeah. Um, there must be a, a thing you have to turn on for that. Okay. Um, Oh, the, the cut scenes are done with like these like slideshow style, you know, drawings and stuff like that, um, which is fine. Like I, I didn't expect a whole lot from this game in that regard. Uh, it actually kind of is a little more old school in that way, I think, which is fitting for this game. Uh, the items and stuff like that are real easy to pick up without like having to like think about it. Like they make sense immediately. So you see food, you get health, you see money, you get, you know, uh, you know, points, money, whatever, and you see weapon, you, you have weapon. Um, I do think it's kind of fun to be able to um, use a weapon and throw it at someone and it bounces back and you can catch it again. Uh, I think that's pretty uh, satisfying when you can just sit there and juggle something against the wall that way for a little bit until the weapon breaks. It's amazing. Everything you're saying now, you could use this as a review for the original games too. Yeah. It's all the exact same stuff. Um, well, yeah, but I mean, I've played... I have played Brawlers fairly recently, and they didn't do that. So no, I know. I yeah. just this. Yeah. I'm saying it, this is exactly like the original Streets of Rage games. Yeah. It plays just like them. Yeah, I don't it's think crazy. I played them a whole. I definitely played them, but it, you know that was. So long well, it's ago. it's a positive that I'm trying to make a point of is like they literally recreated Streets of Rage. Yeah, it plays just like the older ones. Um, well, and it seems like there's some continuity in character stuff too. It is. Yeah, it, it does. It definitely uh, assumes that you know these characters and like the relations and stuff like that so you have the kangaroo behind the bar with the fucking punch of gloves yeah and i'm a bit too ignorant at this point or forgetful uh both are probably true uh my biggest i want to say my only like major gripe with the game outside of the uh, some, a multiplayer thing which i'm just to let you talk about because i'm sure you're going to say the exact same thing um yeah we can talk about it the combat feels a little intentionally unfair sometimes uh to the regard of like the bosses can just like float at any direction any angle and be attacking and you can't do that just like the old games yeah you can go up down left right and like you can swing you know uh the backwards kick is nice uh yep. addition but 
uh, they can hit you diagonally. It drives me insane because you can Well, the thing they'll do too is a lot of times they'll be like at a lower plane than you are and they'll move upward and attack instantly and they'll hit you and you couldn't have hit them before yeah. that. Yeah. So, um, the drives me nuts because if it, it's gonna be a weird example to bring up a Souls game again, but like in Souls games, everything's very intentional. Like it feels fair. Like if you screw up, that was your fault. Yeah. Uh, this, uh, I was just getting beat up because the computer could do something and I had no way around it other than uh, if I was just really quick and I'm not that quick anymore, uh, double you know tap away from them to run away. But uh, small gripe, but it was driving me crazy because it was happening like a lot, especially in later levels. So. Um, but yeah, and then having you know, unlockable characters and stuff like that as you go through the campaign, I think is great. That's a nice surprise. I didn't, yeah. I didn't realize we we're going to unlock people as we played through the game. Yeah. Um, but yeah, overall, I think it's a, a decent brawler. Um, I don't know if it's my favorite. I've played like a free one um, that was a little more my speed, but that's fine. Uh, this is definitely meant for fucking dungeon fighter. Uh, no, uh, it's a Hollow Life fan game that. Is also a brawler. So I played Dungeon Fighter back in the day. That was basically Streets of Rage, except for an MMO. It's mm-hmm. weird, but yeah, apparently it's really popular. It's it's fine. Um, I don't know because I, I don't have nostalgia, so it, it's going to be hard for me to like love the game. But uh, it does exactly what I expected it to do to a T. So uh, minus the uh, issue, which you know, uh, I'll go ahead and let you start your opinions, and we'll talk about the multiplayer. Um, okay, so this game plays just like the original Streets of Rage 1 through 3, which I really appreciated. It's literally, the, I have one big complaint about the game, and I'll get into that in just a sec, but I just want to say I really appreciate how faithful the game is to the brand. The only thing that's not faithful, and I don't know why they did this, is the art style. I fucking hate the art style. I hate the, not just the style, and, and whoever drew it, I'm not trying to disparage them i'm saying as a comparison to the original games i don't think it i don't think it has a good connective Mm, tissue between the original games i don't think it aesthetically looks like an upgrade of i i think you could have went a different direction in the art style of the game um even if it's like a budgetary thing, like oh, this is you know what we could afford or whatever. I don't, I don't know. But like the cutscenes, the in game, just in the game, the way it looks, um, I don't like the art style. The rest of it is is really well done though. Even the animations when you're fighting is is good looking. In 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 you know when you walk around punching shit and people are running around and everything looks good in that regard. The animation's good, but the style drives me nuts and it's not even like oh uh i forgot the main dude's fucking name but um he's got a beard he's old now i I get the direction you're trying to go this is like a later future version of uh of shoots of rage but i just really don't like the art style it doesn't even look or feel like the original games um they do have like these bonus areas you can get to that for some reason in multiplayer we didn't it didn't happen but in single player i went to like a more pixelated uh bonus place where it looked kind of like the older games. I was like, fucking, you should have just made the game look like that. Or give it like an art style that looks, I don't know, just closer to the aesthetic of the original games. Um, it doesn't have to be pixel, but just this doesn't look anything like the original game. So it's just, that's that's a nitpick. It's not a main complaint, but it is a one of two complaints of the game. Um, because otherwise, the um, the music's fucking awesome. There was a couple like throwbacks to the original soundtrack, which I fucking love, uh, that sounded really good. I was like, holy shit, they really captured that, that atmosphere they captured. So they're not, they're not, they're not tone deaf to what Streets of Rage was because they captured the music, they captured the gameplay. It plays, this is the best playing Streets of Rage game I've ever played. It, it feels very similar to the original games. It's kind of it's kind of stiff in its movement, kind of like you know positional. You got to stand in front of someone, punch them. You get used to after a while. It does feel sometimes unfair, but the original fucking games did too. Um, the bosses do feel rough sometimes, but the original ones did too. Um, so they really nailed that. The combat feels the same. Um, you know, everything just feels super authentic. It's just the art style, man. I really. I'm not a fan of it. I think it looks really, um, really cheap. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I, I like um, 
that you can unlock characters. That's cool. There's also some characters I think you could have bought. I didn't do that, but it was like a four pack or something. Mm-hmm. I think you could buy them. Um, so if you're really into it and you're playing with a friend a lot, I, I could see buying that. It makes sense because you want more ways to play. Yeah. Um, the skills and ultimate system was reminiscent, although I haven't followed the story of Shoots of Rage long enough, or I guess in a while I haven't, um, to remember why the girl has magic powers. I don't know why she's like a fucking magic user, because when you use her ults, she like floats up and does weird shit. I'm like, I don't know what that is. Um, so yeah, maybe I'm just lost in, in the, the story of Shoots of Rage, the deep lore of Shoots of Rage. Um, but yeah, overall, I think the game was actually really, really fun, really authentic. I didn't like looking at it, but I liked the gameplay. I liked the music. I liked all the items, the callbacks, the simplistic breaking of barrels and finding the the chicken or the money, uh, little bonus areas to look out for, made it felt arcadey. I think this would be a great game to play, same screen with somebody. That mm-hmm. being said, we played the multiplayer. I made it a point to do that. We played it like two day, a day ago. Um, I played the game earlier in the month, but I was like, we gotta play the multiplayer because these games are always played multiplayer. Um, so you got, we gotta do it. We gotta make a, make a point to do that. We played the multiplayer, but we played it over uh, the internet. And um, it has, and there's one other game we played that had something similar to this. It's a very rare thing that I see this in games, but it has this thing that I think to maybe catch everybody up uh, with what's happening in the game, it will pause the game. Yeah. You're going to see that in my footage, hopefully. Um, Me and him are playing together. It's running some other things. There's always a slight latency to the game, though. It always felt like I was playing if I was streaming my game from my computer onto like my Steam Deck. It felt like there's a slight latency to every movement when you play online. And then it would pause. Everything would just pause. And then it started playing again. And then it would pause. And then start playing again. And I, I could tell it's it's catching us both up, like whatever the packets or whatever, um, just to make sure they could keep the game together. And then every once in a while too, there'd be quick little blips of lag that would happen. Um, and then sometimes my movement wouldn't match where I was pressing. Um, and so it's, it's all just latency that was happening. But it was, it was, I appreciate why they're doing the pause because they're trying to keep the game fair, but I wish it just didn't have that. And this is something, like I said before, that I saw in a game, one other game prior, and it's another like small indie game. So it's like, Maybe they don't have the infrastructure or the technology or whatever to have good networking. And so this is just a fail safe of like, hey, just pause the game when the when the games become out of sync network wise and just let them catch up. I, I assume that's what they're doing. Um, and obviously that's not very fun when you're in the middle of fighting people. And it did like twice fuck me over. Yeah. So it's like fighting a boss. I was going to do something to pause and I don't know when it's going to unpause. And then it came back, and then the guy would hit me, and I'm like, and it killed me one time. I had like no health. I was trying to dodge every tackle, staying alive, and then it did that, and I died. I was like, okay, I can't even, I can't even be upset, or you yeah. know, upset with myself or anything. Like it's just the game fucked me, whatever. Well, and stuff um, like that's the reason why like <clears throat> fighting games especially have like rollback netcode at this point, because yeah. like that would make it completely un- unreasonable to have a, a match with someone. And that was why I didn't play fighting games online for a long time is because there was always weird latency problems uh, where, you know, you play someone from like South America and fucking it's, they're not matching what's happening with you or they're hitting you without moving. And it's like all sorts of crazy shit. So yeah, I'm glad tech has come a long way in terms of like how to um, work with those, those issues. But this game uh, their method of how to how to work with that is not the best. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was disappointing. So yeah, two complaints. The art style is not for me. I, I think it was a bad decision, um, but not the worst thing in the world. And then the networking for multiplayer online, I would recommend people play this same screen co-op like you should with a game like this, but um, I'm sure it plays great that way. So other than that though, I thought the game was awesome. I liked it. Yeah. Anything else? Nope. All right. Uh, recommendations. If you've played Streets of Rage 1 through 4, or 1 through 3, you should play it. Uh, preferably if you're playing with a friend, same screen. Um, I didn't get to try this four player, but apparently it's four player. So that's kind of neat too. Um, definitely. imagine all the pauses there, though. Yeah. 
yeah for sure if you're playing online i don't know if you play four people same screen that'd be that'd be cool um also i like that they would just allow more people to play a game like this because brawlers can be fun with you know four people even though if you they, when you start the game you can have uh the ability to be able to hit each other turned on and off i turned that shit off because i played battletoads with josh and i will never if i have the choice play a game where you're playing co-op with somebody but you can hit each other because josh just beat the fuck out of me with a pipe when he's in the when he's lost in the sauce beating the shit out of people he would just assume i was the enemy and kill the fuck out of me over and over again i was like it's that battle lust i was just like never again dude never (laughs) again so uh thank you she's a rage for having that option you want to keep it classic cool if you want to turn that shit off Turn that shit off and fucking enjoy your life. That was my that's that was my um, mentality. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, if you like brawlers, I would recommend it. Brawlers being like games where you walk around and beat the shit out of people. Um, whether it's like a three D game or two D perspective game, I would just recommend you try this out. It's it's pretty solid. I think it, you know if you like arcadey style games, I would recommend it. Um, yeah, multiplayer brawlers. Uh, I think most people could probably play a game like this. Just don't play it online. That networking was shit. But other than that, it's a pretty solid game. I, th- I think it's be fun for most people. Yeah, I mean, you kind of said it um, with the Streets of Rage 1 through 3, but also, you know, if you've played like the Scott Pilgrim game or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, River City Girls, whatever, if you played any of those, it's the same type of game. So, um, But other than that, I don't really have anything to add. It's... It's a pretty cut and dry type of game, but it is kind of a, a classic. So especially if you're like an older gamer, it's probably going to be really nostalgic to play. So. Yeah, I have, I have big nostalgia for Streets of Rage. Um, yeah, so it's cool to play it. Yeah. I'm trying to think of which one I, I played. I remember the first one I played a lot. Definitely remember the first I one. I remember three a lot too, though, because I had the fucking kangaroo and had like a crazy roster of characters you can play, so from different from the first game second game i think was just more kind of more of the same so yeah anything else nope uh let's grade it i'm gonna give it i'm gonna give it a really really light b minus um i was gonna give it a c plus because i do feel like it's just a little overpassing but um i really love how authentic it felt while still feeling modern like they did really they did it outside of the art of the game and the networking i think they did like a really good job of making like a modern shoots of rage like it it plays like shoots of rage but also just felt pretty good pretty decent it feels like a smoother experience i say it looking at the game so yeah light b minus i would play this again with a friend but but on the same screen. Yeah. I, would, I would like to play all the way through it and unlock all the shit. So, um, yeah. I'm also going to give it a B minus. Um, I would go higher, but the networking is pretty bad. So Yeah, I'd give it a B, but the networking was fucking terrible. But, uh, yeah, I don't really have nostalgia for it. Uh, so that's I'm probably not going to play it again. I'd probably play something a little more modern um, if I was going to play Brawler. But, um it's fine, especially if you you are a fan of the original ones. I'm, I'm sure you would um, be fine with this one. So. Yeah. Anything else? Nope. Let us know in the comments what you guys think about Streets of Rage 4. Uh, did you play it or did you not play it? And if you played it, if you didn't play it, why didn't you play it? But if you did play it, uh, what were some of your favorite things about it? Um, who's your favorite character to play? How do you think this game fares compared to the older Streets of Rage? And... Um, Oh God! I had a question. It's completely left in my brain. Um, <laughs> oh, did you do, did you experience the networking thing? Mm. Um, let me know in the comments below. But that's gonna do it for this episode of Plus Club. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. Um, and uh, yeah, I've been Seth. This has been Chevy. Thank you for joining me, Chevy. And uh, stay tuned. We'll have a taste cast coming soon. But until then, have a good one, guys, and take it easy. Mm-hmm.